Hello and welcome to Rubyology episode number 27. This is our screencast on soap. Um, in previous uh, episodes, another screencast a while back, we did an example on XML RPC. So I thought it was just appropriate to do a, an, um, a screencast on a soap based web service. Um, very simple. Um, and I'm going to show you uh, just a framework and then I'll show you a, a site where you can get. Um, uh, a bunch of soap type examples to play with. So if we start off by doing a um, require, um, we'll need to do a, the st initialize the soap um, WSDL driver. Oops. So how about that? WSDL uh, driver. Okay. And then we need to um, tell uh, Ruby where to get the soap definition. So um, what I found was an interesting site here called xmethods.net. Um, if you go to there you can see just a bunch of different um, uh, web services. You know, I was playing with a temperature conversion, calc uh, Celsius to Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit to Celsius, a bunch of zip code demos, but um, uh, this one was kind of fun. This delayed stock quote. If you click on this you'll get information about this web service. It's a free web service hosted by um, X methods and this WSDL uh, definition is the SOAP definition for this um, this web service. So if we go ahead and copy that and drop it into here, let's get rid of those extra spaces there, that will um, create the definition. So now the only other weird part is that we have to actually um, initialize the driver. So driver equals and uh, all caps here WSDL driver uh, factory dot new and then here we're going to give it the name of the variable which we set here. Uh, let's see dot create RPC driver. Okay, so that's all the setups. Now um, we simply execute the uh, soap. And I'll show you how to find out what methods there are. So we'll do a put screen and um, let's get back into here. So if we look at this, um, if we go to view RPC profile, Uh, looks like it's going to open up another screen. Maybe. <laughs> I got a bunch of stuff going here on my PC. There we go. Let me shrink this so you can see it. Um, what this does is it tells us information about um, the SOAP service. So um, it says here the SOAP action um, is get quote right there. And you see right there get quote that's the method um, that we're going to be using. It tells us the input is a string and the output's going to be a float. So the string is the symbol of um, our stock quote. So we're going to use a get quote method and um, it'll give us the value. So if we come back to, let's go back to our, uh, here we'll do a puts and um, driver dot get quote which, whoop, why am I doing this all caps? Yeah, sure, watch what I'm doing. Driver dot Get. Now you do need to keep the case the same. So like when we look at here, oh, sorry, there it is. We look at here, you saw how it's lowercase g with a big Q. Uh, get quote. That's what we need to, to drop in here. So get quote and then parentheses here. It's a string so we're going to pass it in quotes. Uh, let's do um, apple, A-A-P-L. And let's run that. We'll do an Apple R. So
so we're executing a remote uh, web service, SOAP web service, and um, there's our stock price for Apple, $113.62. Not a bad price. Um, here, let's let's uh, just show that we're we're calling uh, different. Uh, let's do it IBM. Let's see what uh, IBM looks like today. There we go, one hundred and five dollars and eighteen cents a share. So you get the picture. Um, uh, this uh, interesting site here, X Methods. There's tons of web services and information out there, but basically now with just a little bit of um, a little bit of uh, programming here, um, you can see that you can. Um, hop around to basically any site. All you need is this WSDL specified and then look up what your methods are and then pass it parameters. So this is an example in Ruby. This is pure Ruby that we're experimenting with here right now but this could certainly be used inside of your Rails application if you need to execute a SOAP uh, web service. So thanks a lot for joining me on this uh, Rubyology screencast. If you have any feedback or questions, you can email me at chris at